For the past couple years, the St. John's School Glee Club Honor Choir and Traveling Choir have embarked on annual tours to help bring awareness of Guam's musical and cultural legacies to audiences around the world. To date, they have promoted Guam's music in Los Angeles, New York City, Manila, London, and Paris. Now, while these past tours focus on their personal growth as artists this year, they will be embarking on a humanitarian tour to focus on serving the needs of others. Thus, the project Songs for Smiles, a humanitarian tour to the island of Cebu, Philippines, was decided as this year's tour project. Songs for Smiles was derived from Operation Smile, a not-for-profit volunteer medical organization that provides reconstructive facial surgery to indigent children and young adults. Here to tell us what their particular mission entails is the school's entertainment director, Alan Nazareno. Alan is joined by one of the lead performers Performers, Maya Sablan. Thank you both for coming Thank on you, today. I hope you. I got all that right. Yes, uh, performing arts. <laughs> okay, fantastic, Martin, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, now, why did St. John's choose the Cebu project in the first place? Like, well, you know, what was the reason behind it? Well, I'm a Cebuano, so I, I personally know the island well. And um, last summer, I met with Benji Diola. And uh, Benji, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would know Benji. He was the one who, who's been directing musical theater here in Guam. And right now he's spending more time in Cebu. And he's also associated with the MSY Foundation, which is the foundation behind Operation Smile in Cebu. And so we talked, and the idea said, oh, it just came up. And I said, why not do a show in Cebu and then help Operation Smile in the process? And as you mentioned in your introduction, we wanted to provide an opportunity for our students to... Um, be grateful for all the blessings that they have and they they would appreciate more if they learn how to share and so there yeah. you go and then yes. you're also doing a performance while you're there mm -hmm. Smokey Joe's Cafe tell us about the performance itself and why you chose that one in particular um, for the past couple of years we did we did uh, present Smokey Joe's Cafe about a couple of years ago was that three years ago mm. or, yeah nearly nearly four years ago already and uh, she was still a freshman then and she's now a senior and um, that was one of the shows that all of us just enjoyed doing. And so we kept on toying with the idea like, um, should we do it again? Should we do it again? And then came the idea, why not do it differently and take it on the road? It's a very easy show to mount and um, the music is so amazing. Yeah, It's so familiar. It's like visiting an old friend. Yeah. Now, I was talking to Maya mm. out in the hallway earlier. She was telling me that Smokey Joe's Cafe is very unique. Uh, explain why it's unique. D explain the different performances that go on within the actual performances. Yes. <laughs> um, it is not a typical Broadway show. It is Broadway's longest running musical review. So mm. as a review, there's no strong story or plot that ties the strong songs together. The songs themselves are the stars. Mm. And Lieber and Stoller are, Stoller are the, yeah, they're like the Rodgers and Hammerstein of the 60s and the 70s. And um, they wrote, they have this huge library of hit songs. Yeah. And so we have Jailhouse Rock. We have Hound Dog. All, almost all of Elvis' hits were written by Lieber and Stoller. And so there, there's this huge library of songs that are so powerful and so, gosh, like, Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Speaking of powerful, I was speaking with Maya. Maya was telling me that the songs that she actually embarks upon on in, in, in this particular performance are very strong songs. Tell us about your role a little bit, Maya, in, in the performance and, and what you will sing. Um, my role, because it's a review, isn't a specific role, but the songs that I sing require... Um, require me to represent a character who's uh, like a vamp. Uh, she's a very powerful woman. Um, there's actually a song called um, I'm a Woman and there's uh, four, four girls who sing this song and, and they're saying that um, I'm a woman, I can do all these things and it's a very rock and roll song and it's really powerful. It's fun. How were you able to relate to this particular character, if you will? Well, the practices are very fun, um, very energetic, and, and I'm able to relate to the songs because once you get up there on stage, you just want to move around mm -hmm. and, you know, just 
belt out all you can and it's really energetic. What is one of the favorite lines in one of the songs that you sing? Can you sing it for us? <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite songs is actually um, I'm a Woman, and uh, it's, uh, it's really, um, it's kind of like uh, these women are telling the men that um, I can do all this, I can make a man out of you, and uh, it goes, uh, I'm a woman, W-O-M-A-N, I'll say it again. Oh, beautiful. <laughs>